Hi, welcome to Contributor Tutorials. My name is Sean, and today I'm going to show you how to increase contrast using a blending mode. I think this photo will work good for our example. When you do look at it, the shadows and the highlights have been exposed perfectly, and it is a great image. The one thing I would like to see maybe is a little bit more detail or contrast in the model's face. I think it might help it look a little bit more dramatic and bring us into the image a little bit more. One of the ways that people have traditionally used blending modes is to make a copy of the background layer and then apply a blending mode to it. When we are looking for contrast blending modes, we're looking at overlay, soft light, and hard light. For this session, I'm going to use soft light. As you can see, that's made a fairly significant change in the image. We've definitely incre increased the contrast as well as the saturation of the image. I'll just zoom in. And like I said, I'm just going to show before and after. Like I said, it's definitely increased the contrast in the image. The one concern that I do have, though, is it does look like it is filling in the shadow detail a little bit, as well as I'm a little worried about some of the brighter areas being blown out because the contrast is so extreme. Now, I'm going to show you a different way of doing that, but before I do, I'm going to take a screenshot of this, and I'm just going to label this RGB soft light so we know which one was, is which. After I've done that, I'm going to click off the, the background copy layer that we had the blending mode uh, attached to, and I'm going to show you the way that I would like to do it, which is choosing a channel by itself rather than using all three together. So if you use Command-3, Command-4, or Command-5, you can sort of toggle through the channels of your images, so the red, the green, and the blue channels. And what I look to target is the channel which has the greatest uh, difference in the contrast. So for me, that's going to be the red one here. We can see that the the areas are are quite uh, different between the the highlights and the and the shadows, uh, especially when we compare that to maybe let's say the the blue channel. So I'm going to go back and select all our layers, but I'm going to command click on the red channel. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow me to select just the information that's contained within the red channel. Now I'm going to go back to my layers and I'm going to choose an adjustment layer and I'm going to choose curves. Now, if you can see down here in my thumbnail, you can sort of see a little bit of a ghost of the, of the image. And basically what that's showing us is the masks that we've created using the red channel. So basically we've only selected uh, a mask of the red channel. So the uh, blending mode that we now apply will only be applied to that channel. So as you can see, I'm going to toggle this layer on and off, and you can see that there's no difference. But what we are going to do is the same thing that we did with the background layer, which is apply a contrast blending mode to it. And again, I'm going to choose soft light. And as you can see, we have uh, got a contrast difference, and it's pushed the saturation a little bit as well. But again, here's the, the area that I'd like to highlight, which is just the, the shadows. Um, they definitely look a little bit more open and a little bit more detailed than when we used all three channels. And I'm just going to take a snapshot of this, and we'll just call this the, the red channel soft light. And I'll just sort of compare the, the two. So before you can see the, when we applied the blending mode to all three channels, that the, the shadows got a lot darker, and in some cases almost filled in. Whereas when we use the red soft light, we got that contrast change again, but the shadow didn't fill in as, as extreme. So again, I'll compare it to the original, and then just with the red channel soft light. And again, like I said, I do like the way that looks. So the only, last thing that I would like to do is maybe make an opacity move. I always try to uh, back off the effect whenever we do make these kind of uh, blending modes. I think it just always makes it look a little bit more natural. I think our tendency is always to sort of increase it too much. So I always find the opacity layer helps us uh, sort of bring that, uh, the effect down to make it look more, more natural. Now, once we've done that, the only thing that we have to do now is to flatten the image. It's asking me if I want to discard the hidden layers. The hidden layer was the background copy that we had originally applied the blending mode. I don't need that, so I'm just going to say OK. There, we've got our flattened file. Now I'm just going to go back and compare 
the original image with our change. And like I said, I, I do like that. It's definitely increased the contrast without giving any shadows filling in. And it does look very natural. So again, before and after. I hope this has been helpful and please check back for more tutorials. Take care.